In this video guys, we are spending 100 days as Neji Hyuga from Naruto in Shinobi Life 2 Roblox. To do this, first of all, we need to create a brand new account and obtain the two bloodlines, Dark Jokai and Araki Jokai. And then after that, we need to do a lot of missions in order to get to max level. And after we reach max level, we're going to be 1v1ing Rock Lee to see who truly is the strongest. Alright guys, so we're going to be calling the account, we're going to call it... We're going to call it Finity Hyuga. I think that's how you spell the name. All right. And then we're just going to sign up and then straight into Shindo Life we enter. All right. And we are in Shindo Life. We're going to go straight into the customization screen. And I think we already actually have Neji's hair and stuff, which is very, very good. And the bloodlines that we're going to go for is the Jokai bloodline. So if I go in ability bike, I don't think it's that rare at all. Jokai is one out of 80. And then there's also another one. Is it this one? We're going to either go for this one or uh, the other one. There's the gold one, I think, I don't know if the gold one is still obtainable, but there's also a blue one that I think we can get from the limiteds if we don't get it. Which one is it? I forgot what it was called. This one here, what's it called? We can get the Dark Jokai, so I think we're going to try and go for the Dark Jokai and the Normal Jokai, and I think that's not going to be that difficult. To be honest, we can buy the Dark Jokai anytime, because we do have, like, we're going to get enough, uh, what's it called? Because we're going to get enough rail coins from the codes that we use. However, before we use the codes, we might as well just keep on spinning because we can at least get Jokai from the 500 to 1000 spins that we have. Alright, we're going to put this first code straight in. We have 500 of the spins and for the elements, I think I'm just going to go for wind. I don't even know if like, Neji uses any of the elements. So yeah, apparently according to Google, he can utilize fire, water and wind release. So we're going to go for what we're not gonna go for water we're just gonna keep it wind and if we get gale gale is very very similar to wind so we're gonna keep that too however the main goal is to get the two bloodlines jokai and dark jokai so i'm just gonna keep on spinning until we do eventually get like a decent bloodline and yeah i'll see you guys once we do <laughs> to one spin in and we've already got Budomaki, which is not bad at all <laughs> i might leave i'm feeling i'm feeling we're feeling lucky today so we should be able to get the bloodlines oh and also light jokai if we get dark or light jokai that'd be very very good and then we'll also get the normal jokai too all right guys after a lot of spinning i've decided to keep these two jokais we've got the i think it's called araki i don't know if that's how you say it and then we've got the dark jokai and then for the elements i have when i've managed to get yang which looks like thingy energy is like 100 palms so we're gonna keep that and then also we're gonna keep wind and we've dressed up as energy but yeah so far our build looks very 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 decent i didn't go for jokai because apparently it turns out that was hinata's one so we just scrapped that one and went for the two other Jokais, which look and just sound a lot better. I have never actually like properly played with the Jokais so much. Yeah, super curious on how to play with them. We're just going to... Alright, first things first, let's actually check. When do we unlock the bloodline? Okay, the first one's 120, which is really, really convenient. And then, okay, both of them are 120. That's really, really good. Okay, that's amazing because that means we don't need to do that much grinding to get them to 120. So we can actually start doing the green scroll missions. But first of all, as we normally do, we're going to start off with the normal easy missions. What can we do here? Can you pick up some weeds grown inside the village? We don't do that. We don't do that. We're Neji. We don't do that. We are doing other stuff that are better. All right. Okay. Can you deliver some mail for me? Yeah, perfect. Okay. This is a very, very easy task. Okay. Where do we go? Bro, where's that? Well, okay, the marker's right there. All right, and there we go. Mission accomplished. And do we get how much levels? I think we get around like 30 from it. Yeah, we just got 30 on the dot. Can you deliver some groceries for me? Yep, that's also a very easy task. All right, that's one house done. Two more to go. Two down, one to go. All right, and that last house. There we go. And what levels are going to get us to? You know what? Level 42 already is not bad at all, to be honest, which is good. Does that even... Okay, that barely leveled up our bloodline. To be honest, the best way to level up our bloodline is by doing the logs real quick. So yeah, I'm just going to do the logs for like 3-4 minutes until we get to like level 120 with our bloodline. So we can actually start doing the green scroll missions, the better missions. So yeah, I'll see you guys once we have 120 levels in our bloodline. Alright guys, so yeah, just like that, we managed to get to level 120. That was super quickly. And which one do we unlock first? I think we're going to unlock the blue one and use the blue one for now. And then we're going to unlock the Araki Jokai later on. But yeah, look at us, bro. Look at even our stance is completely different. It looks so, so clean. And to be honest, the buff on it, it's kind of trash, I'll be honest. I just looked at the buff on the right. It is kind of awful, but that still doesn't matter. We need to get some coins here. Have you unlocked any of these? Yeah, okay, perfect. We have. So we're going to equip all these coins. We need coins as much as possible so we can actually like unlock our elements. But first of all, let me just put some of our points into Chi and a little bit into our Nin. All right, our first green scroll mission as Neji, a group of Taijutsu students spotted them the outskirts. Can you please take care of them? Yes, I can. That should not be that difficult. Taijutsu versus basically Taijutsu. We're going to destroy them. 
But okay, hopefully our C-Spec is the 100 Palms. Uh, it, oh, it is, okay. It, it kind of is. That looks so clean, okay. And we're gonna use our Wind. Even though, okay, the, oh, there's also a Q-Spec. Oh, and that Q-Spec is actually not that bad either. Okay, that was like kind of, that was kind of the 100 Palms. It was, it was like a very fast version of it. But to be honest, we literally just one-shot those guys so quickly. Wow, that was... I can't lie, the Bloodline's not that bad so far. I think there's a mode 2, but I don't know when we unlock mode 2. When is the mode 2? Okay, we lock it at level 500. Okay, not bad, not bad. Right, another green scroll. Uh, can I... Okay, a group of corrupt Ember Ninjas. Okay, which, can you please take care of them? Yeah, sure. This version of the Bioka Gun takes so much MD off me. I think it takes like 40 per 1 or 45 per 1, which is so much. And let me see, the, is the C-Spec the same? Okay, the C-Spec tells... Oh, okay, that's actually so cool. Okay. That C spec is actually cool. Like it tells us, like I don't know what it tells us, but it's it's um, it's not bad at all. Okay, it, I mean it tells us where like the chakra is, like the chakra thing, so we can like seal them up. But that that was actually not that bad, you know. It's just that MD for this takes so much, which I I don't think is that good. So I think the dark one is a lot better if, if I'm being honest. All right, okay. A corrupt Dune ninjas. Okay, not bad, not bad. We can destroy them easily. Okay, and they've spawned right next to us, which is very very convenient. Alright, let's use the C-Spec of the golden one again. Is it gonna let me... Okay, I can use the Q-Spec. Okay, I don't know what the Q-Spec did there. It barely did any damage to them. You know, we're gonna use the wind. Just, you know, help us out a bit. Okay, I think it enhances our, like, Taijutsu. Because look how our hands are, like, Chakra, basically. They've got Chakra in them. This guy, yep. Every time we, like, hit, look at our hands, bro. They look just so, so clean. Oh my god. Yeah, I gave, they, uh, this mission gives like 20 levels, which is not bad. The Green Scroll missions are so easy to do, and they give us so much levels. Alright guys, now we're going to be doing a training arc, where we're just going to be doing some missions and stuff, trying to get as powerful as possible, until we've reached like around level 400, 500, as we also need a decent amount of coins, because these bloodlines here cost so much money. It's going to cost 5 million combined. So yeah, I'm just going to keep on doing these Green Scroll missions over and over again. Just a small training arc, until we are around level 400, 500, maybe even 600. And yeah, I'll see you guys once we have finished the training arc. Alright guys, and just like that training arc is over, we managed to get to level 669, which means our bloodlines also leveled up a lot. They're both level 800, and we've managed to get 5.2 million rail coins, so we can basically unlock every single of our moves, basically. So we're gonna unlock this, this, and this, and then we're gonna equip the Dark Jokai. I've not actually tested out those moves ever in my life, so I'm super excited to check them out, and we can go into Form 3. And yeah, this is Form 3, we get a decent buff, we get a 2.8, 2.4, 2.7, and then 2.45, which is not bad at all, to be honest. Alright, okay, can we defeat, okay, some Haze Corrupt Ninjas, okay, perfect. Alright, the V move, let's check the V move. Okay, the V move is actually not bad at all, okay, the B one, okay. B one is not bad at all, and then the N move, okay, yeah, the N move is like the 100 palm one, and yeah, that's actually really, really good, okay, that N move is probably my favourite one out of all of them. So, it's not bad at all, actually, not bad. Now, let's try these moves here. I feel like the blue one is just going to be a lot better. V, B, N. I feel like the blue one has a lot more potential. The guy can go and attract the boss whilst we go far away and check out our moves. Alright, okay, but the B move. Okay, B move is kind of like a Genjutsu, okay. The V move, V move is clean. The N move is also not bad at all. To be honest, I prefer this over the Araki Jokai. And then the C spec. Okay, the C spec is always still going to be the same. And I think the boss is following us now, which is not good at all, so we have to jump away. Now let's try out this mode here, the Araki Jokai. I'm pretty sure they're going to be very, very different, so let me just demode and we'll see. Is it going to be the same? Is the mode going to look like the same? Okay, it's the, of course, Golden Byaka Gun. And yes, okay, it is different. It's basically just like a Hinata when she used it against Pain, those like the fists. They look so cool, okay. And yeah, the M1s look amazing too. So I'm guessing it's going to have a different C-Spec and a different Q-Spec. Has it got an E-Spec? Okay, it doesn't have an E-Spec, okay. To be honest, I think the older Bloodlines don't really have an E-Spec, but they do have a C and Q-Spec. Alright, okay, we finally found a Green Scroll mission. Okay, group of corrupt Nimbus Ninjas. There's so many of these guys just coming to our village, and we're still not finishing them off yet. 
All right, okay, we better have any MD, so we've got to finish these guys off real quick. C-spec. Okay, that's C-spec. Yo, that C-spec is clean. Q-spec. Oh, I think we missed the Q-spec. No. But, yo, that C-spec was clean. And then we got the M1s, of course. Okay, yeah, the M1s are also so clean, too. Yo, okay. All right, I like this a lot. Okay, boom, 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 boom. And they did, we just destroyed them that easily. But that Q-spec... Okay, we just, I don't think we managed to hit it on one of them, but I have, I think I have an idea. We'll probably just like give them like a quick combo and like seal the chakra points. I think that's how the Q-Spec is going to go. But yeah, that Q-Spec is really, really clean. Okay, we need to try that one more time. Hopefully there is a green scroll mission left for us. But yeah, so far, I like the Araki Jokai more than the Dark Jokai. To be honest, the Dark Jokai has a really good C-Spec of like the 100 palms on. All right, this time we can't miss our Q-Spec. I don't... Is that... Is that... Is the Q-Spec meant to be a combo or am I tripping? Because it just didn't work. Okay, that's a bit weird to be honest. I thought the Q-Spec would work now. But that didn't work for some reason. Yeah, but that Q-Spec... I want to try that one more time. Because I feel like there should be a combo on that Q-Spec. If this Q-Spec is not like a combo, then I feel like the Dark Joker is going to be better. Yeah, it's just... It's just it like, hits them once and then that's it. Which is... Which is so sad, unfortunately. The mode, though, it looks so clean. The mode, it just looks amazing. But yeah guys, now that we've tested out both of the bloodlines, all we got to do left now is just to get to max level. And then we can finally fight Rock Lee to see who truly is stronger. So I'm going to do just going to keep on grinding missions. And it's just going to be like a time skip. And I'll see you guys once we're able to fight Rock Lee 1v1 to see who truly is superior. Alright guys, and just like that, we've managed to get to level 1000. We're in Shindai Valley waiting for Rock Lee to appear. But yeah, we've got to level 1000 and these are my stats, not here. These are my stats. We've got, we've maxed out our HP and stuff. And this is the first one that we're going to do. We're going to do best out of three. So we're going to try out this first of all, the Jokai, the Dark Jokai. And then we're going to test out the Golden one too. Just to see which one actually truly is stronger. But yeah, this is my first slowdown. I'm actually super excited because I truly want to know who is stronger, Rock Lee or Neji. Because as you know, in Naruto, they never really fought because... Of course, it was kind of too late because Neji died. Spoilers, but he did die at the end of the series. So we could never witness who truly was stronger. Alright, and the first round begins. Okay, Rock Lee versus Neji. I've never actually played against a guy with a Rock Lee thing. And yeah, okay, so he's starting off not too great. Gonna hit him with this. And somehow, I've managed to miss that for some reason. You know what, I forgot to go to third mode here. But yeah, we're gonna use our Q-Spec. Q-Spec lands. Okay, perfect. Okay. Gonna use our Byakugan. I don't know what the Byakugan does, I'll be honest with you guys. But yeah. Oh, and we've missed that too. All the Byakugan moves are very, very close range. So we need to make sure we are very, very close to him. Okay, and we're gonna hit him with this. Okay, there we go. And, okay, we, we need to get close. Okay, and then hit him with the combo. Boom, there we go. Hit him with the Byakugan. I don't know what Byakugan does, bro. That's so, it's so irritating that I don't know what it does. Okay, he's managed to, to run away from this. Hit him with the Q-Spec. Okay, Q-Spec is missed twice. Okay, the Q-Spec is missed twice, which is crazy. Okay, hit him with the arm move. Okay, I'm going to hit him a bit. And, oh, I th for some reason I thought I killed him because that, when you kill someone in the mission, that's what happens. You get like the scroll, green scroll thing. This is this is kind of getting difficult. I'm pretty sure he's glitched a little bit. We're going to take advantage of that. Okay, I'll hit him with this too. And he's got us in another combo. Oh my god, okay. We're going to get him into combo again. Hit him with the Q-Spec. Oh, the Q-Spec missed. Oh, and he's... Wow, that does damage, okay. To be honest, we have so much HP. I doubt he's going to kill us anytime soon. We hit him with that two move. Okay, that move is so clean, man. Okay, we gotta keep, we're going to keep it here. Uh, to be honest, I'm not trying to use my Yang moves that much because they, they're not really Neji's moves, if I'm being honest. We could be dead here. Uh, okay, we could be dead here, if I'm being honest. Okay, we're going we're gonna to use our C-Spec at the last, last, last final thing. And we're going to hit him with some of this. I think the Black move is actually like teleport to him, which is kind of clean. But yeah, I think we're dead here. And okay, first round goes to Rock Lee. GG, okay, Rock Lee. Oh, we didn't even tie that, but now we died. Wow, okay, GG. First round to Rock Lee. All right, the second round. If I do not win this, we basically Rock Lee has won. But yeah, we're going to be using this now, which is a lot. I think it could be better, but it's just that thingy that the, the MD on this is crazy. Eh? And this guy's using a second mode now, which is going to be very... Oh, it's going to be so difficult to play against him. What, what is this move? I've never pl really played with this, like, thingy. I've not played with this yet, but it doesn't really matter. Okay, if I hit him with the V. Oh, he's he's the one that's comboing me. Oh my god, okay, Q. Okay, Q missed. Is there an E-spec? Nope, there isn't. 
Okay, I'm gonna hit him with some M1s. Okay, this is very, very difficult. We need to, I, need, I need him to get close to me so we can actually use this. Okay, he's gonna go into second gate. What does that move do? I'm not sure. I hit him with this. Okay, okay, we finally got it. Okay, we're gonna hit him with... I don't know what I'm doing to be honest. This mode, this, this golden Jokai mode, is kind of, if I'm being honest, it's kind of... A, I don't know how to play with it. Okay, that was such a bad move. Okay, that Jokai is so much better than the, the Araki Jokai in my opinion. But yeah, okay, <laughs> this guy's getting... This, we're gonna get destroyed here. Okay, especially if he gets into his nine gates. Which is just going to be way too overpowered. Came with this again. I don't know if I've ever hit that move in, like, just ever. That, the C-spec. Came with this. Okay, there we go. Okay, we've at least got our end move. The end move is actually, like, the only move that I really like on this mode. Okay, oh my god, that co Yo, this combo he's doing on me is crazy. Yeah, okay. Bro, oh my god, okay, that combo is just too crazy for me. A little bit too crazy, but it's fine. Hit him with this, and then hit him with some of this. Okay, I think he's on his 6th or 7th gate now, which is a big, big issue for us. Oh my god, okay, we've actually killed him. Okay, wow. I did not expect to kill Rock Lee. Okay, it's 1-1. One, one. Winner wins this, okay. And somehow we killed him with the Daki Jokai when it's so much worse than Dark Jokai. So we will take that, you know, we'll take that. And I think for the last round, I'm going to probably use Equip This. And probably have these moves use the Araki Jokai moves because I think I prefer them actually over the normal Dark Jokai moves. Alright, and the final and last round shall begin. Straight away with some wind moves, trying to get some HP down. Okay, gonna hit him with this, hit him with the C spec, straight into the end. Oh, if we got it straight into the end, that would have been amazing. Okay, yeah, we're both going all out here. This is gonna be crazy. Hit him with this. Oh, and yeah, we got put in that. This. Oh my god, yeah, this this move does so much damage if you get put into it. Like, you just can't do anything. Okay, yeah, this, okay, this was like ni nearly 90,000 to me. We're gonna have to use some of this moves here, I'm sorry. But we're gonna have to use some of this. Oh my god, yeah, this guy is ins- Yo, Rock Lee goes ins- Yo, bro, 9 gates against Stingy Energy is not fair at all. Bro, okay, wow, okay. At least we're gonna get some hits off, and we're not even in third mode, but it doesn't even matter even if we were. Okay. And, yep, this is a big issue. Big, big issue. Oh my god, okay, we're on 3,000 HP. Where, where's Rock Lee gone? Okay, he's there. I hit him with this. Okay, well, at least we're, we're, we're kind... We're not, we're not thinking. We are nowhere near gonna kill this guy. And how are we so... I'm still, like, struck that we've survived. Okay, we're on 3,000 HP, though, which is not, in, like, amazing. And we just got put in uh, ultimate... Yep, and the ultimate is just going to kill me 100%. Uh, we're already dead. I can see my HP is zero. And wow, Rock Lee is so strong. But yeah, guys, that has been the video of me spending 100 days as Neji. Turns out Rock Lee is stronger, so they didn't have to have the fight in the anime. We found out here that Neji just kind of got destroyed, especially by 9 gates. Rock Lee is just basically unfair. But yeah, guys, if you did enjoy this video, make sure to like, subscribe, and also comment down below what other Shinobi Life 2 ideas you want me to do. Hope you have a wonderful, wonderful rest of your day, guys, and peace out, guys. Peace out.